Hi, my name is Mick. This is my 2004 SE Deluxe 4x4 Pathfinder, unofficially dubbed the Poor Man's Forerunner or Poor Runner. This is arguably the best R50 platform that Pathfinder ever produced, aside from the rear manual option, obviously. Mine comes stock with a manual transfer case and a four speed automatic transmission. It currently has just over 265,000 miles on the original motor and it's still running strong. I built this specifically to appear as stock as possible, but there's a lot of custom um, features that make it both modern and very off-road capable. But before I get into all that, I just wanna show you what it looked like when I bought it. All right, first of all, I replaced the stock grill with the 1999 model honeycomb version. I found it a pick your part. It has LED headlights and a custom light bar, which I'll demo later. I upgraded the stock 4.3 differential to the 4.6, also from a pick your part, and I put a Laka auto locker in it as well. I recently had a new rear main seal installed, so there's no leaks, and I installed new ball joints, tie rod ends, CV axles, and brakes. As you can see, there's no rust or rot. I got the transfer case skid plate off a of first gen Pathfinder added pick your part. It's sitting on 31 inch BF Goodrich KO2 tires on 15 inch aluminum alloy wheels and worn manual hubs. For the front suspension, I installed HD Old Man Emu coils, Sumer Spring coil wraps, and KYB struts. In the rear, I have Old Man Emu medium duty coils, and I replaced the stock bump stops with Sumer Springs as well. I have another video on that for the install if you guys are interested. The Sumo Springs are awesome, by the way, highly recommended. And to finish it off, I put a limited slip differential in off a 2001 Xterra. I also found a pick your part and an extended diff breather. Being the Deluxe, it also comes stock with OME side steps and a roof rack, which are both super awesome. I've also got a magnetic ghost antenna for my Midland radio up top. And I also have an extended long range antenna as well that I keep under the seat. Inside, I've got a Midland two-way radio for off-grid comms. As you can see, I custom installed it in the dash here just to give it a little bit more of a stock appearance. I have a custom magnetic removable iPad infotainment screen for navigation music, YouTube, Netflix, or whatever. I've tested this off-road extensively and you can definitely see it's not going anywhere. This feature especially, in my opinion, makes the truck feel way more modern, uh, like a new car, even though it's 2004. Below that, there is a Sony doubled in CD player, which I never use just for the Bluetooth. Uh, there's a stock Bose audio system, which sounds great still. I have a tire pressure monitoring system, a custom front and rear HD dash cam, which is also super awesome. I highly recommend this for all older vehicles. So here's the interior at night. So you can see the LED lighting. As you can see, I went with amber for the dash lights and um, most of the other lights were blown out when I bought it. So I just replaced, you know, the glow box light and everything with uh, just LEDs, just to make it look more modern. And here's a demo of the light bar at night. So you can see how bright it gets. It's great, you know, when you're off-roading in the desert and there's no uh, city lights or anything. It really brightens uh, the field of view up. And then here are my super bright LED reverse lights, which are super awesome as well. Uh, you see the sunroof here. Uh, it's got all other seats. The front two seats are powered and heated as well. The side mirrors are also heated, which are pretty cool. And there's a light bar switch. It's got rubber mats I installed. The rear window switch which makes it pretty cool. You can open the rear window while you're driving to ventilate and whatnot. Here is the backup camera that I installed. So all the wiring is, is concealed, so it looks stock. It's great for driving at night, especially I highly recommend that rear view cam. And then here you can see my black trim that I did all around. Under the hood, it's basically stock. It has a 3.5 V6 liter engine, 240 horsepower, and 265 foot-pounds of torque. I installed a custom air compressor here for the tires for airing up. Um, I know a lot of people put them in the engine bay, but I didn't like how hot it got in there, so I chose this location to help keep it cooler. Um, it also has a waterproof cover. k and air filter, engine bay hood light, which I really like as well. I removed the uh, brackets here over the strut mounts to clean up the engine compartment a little and make it easier to work on if I ever need to. There's new coil packs, spark plugs. Um, I rebuilt the transmission in 2017. 
I've also replaced the camshaft position sensors, battery, radiator, starter, alternator, power steering pump, fuel filter, hoses, and belts. And I installed a trans radiator. So one more shot of the uh, interior from the back here. Got a fire extinguisher, obviously, and storage bag. And um, in the back, you can see the rubber uh, mat and uh, molly panel here for random gear. Just keep it off the ground. Also, for all you Pathfinder enthusiasts, I swapped out the Pathfinder decal on the rear hatch here with the 1999 NASA style one. So yeah, that's my Pathfinder. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for watching.